Hey, what's up, Scott Ball? here with Imagination Creation Films, and today we're gonna to be talking about how to color correct really quickly in any of your editing software. So a lot of people struggle with this, and it's just a simple thing of color correction. Now, color correction and color grading are two different things. We're gonna go into color correction, and we're gonna talk about how to simply get your color as close as possible to begin with. And you know, it's gonna start with one of these little guys right here. Bing! And bing! Yep, made sound effects and all. So what this is, is an 18% gray card. And if you happen to notice, it is very similar, but not exactly perfect, because obviously every people's skin is a little bit different, but it's very similar to skin in brightness. This is a white card, and this is going to be used perfectly for getting your color temperature correct. So the best way to do it is get your person standing right here in front of them, pop this thing out, don't take their nose off, pop the white card right in front, just as you would normally shoot it. And now we got a little white subject. We're gonna use this in just a moment. So put that there. Also, if you wanna go for exposure, you can pop the gray and the gray, put it right here in the middle. I can line that up with the plus side. And uh, that will be used for getting the skin tones to, to work out great because you want to do 18% gray, right around 50% for exposure, and then you get beautiful skin, yeah. So in order to do this correctly, we need to take that footage up to the editing room and go through it there. Okay, so we're over here at Adobe Premiere, and this will work in any editor that you have, uh, as long as it has some kind of color correction. Uh, I am doing this on my laptop now. Um, uh, several people had uh, voiced concern that they couldn't read the text uh, because the resolution was so high on what I was capturing on my desktop. So I'm doing this on my laptop. It is a little slow. My voice may go funky and that would be the inner cyborg jumping out. But what I'm doing here is going to demonstrate how to color correct if you get your color balance wrong. Also going to uh, show you how to do full contrast setting to get a good correction there. And also how to do it with uh, raw, as well as we're gonna talk about skin tones and middle gray. So if you look here, what I've done, I've got this side lit up with daylight and the right side is actually lit with tungsten. So you can see it's kind of golden right here. Now the, uh, the camera was actually set to 4,000 uh, Kelvin and that was to give this kind of color contrast, but it's not exactly where I would set it to make it look right. So. This is a prime example of how we can uh, get our white balance set correctly. If we go here, I'm holding the white card in front, and this is a solid white, and this will allow us to set it. I'm going to do my adjustments in an adjustment layer. You may do it in an adjustment layer, or you can do it to the actual footage if you'd like. So we're gonna do this with Lumetri. We're gonna drop it down and drop down this basic. We're gonna use the white card here. Now, we're going to click over onto Lumetri Scopes. Now, if you see here, you have a green blob, a blue blob, and a red blob. And that is actually the white card showing up. And the reason it is a blob is, well, you know, it's a blob shape. And uh, it does actually, if you look here to the left and right, you'll see the lighter white here, brighter, and then darker here. So that does match right here. Now, since it is white, these should actually all be on top of each other if our white balance was correct. So how do we do this? Well, we're gonna first give ourselves a little extra room. So we're gonna go down to saturation and we're gonna pump this up to 200. Notice those blobs, they get further apart. That gives us a little more accuracy. You could actually go in and set it to uh, 300. Let's do that now. And notice those blobs are way apart. Okay, so we're gonna go to tint and temperature. And the temperature is going to be the red and the blue. So we're gonna to try to bring all three of these together. So we're gonna start with the red and the blue, and we're gonna adjust this until they converge at the same point. They're not gonna be perfect, but they're gonna be pretty close. Okay, so we got the red and the blue there, and then we need to get the green. So now we need to drag the green into the red and the blue. Just like that. Now, we have, if we look at our face, oh, look, I look like an Oompa Loompa. Why? Well, remember, we gave ourselves a little extra room on saturation. 
Let's t set it back to 100. Now you can look at my face and you can see I'm actually a little, little more accurate. My, my skin tones look better. Uh, everything about this looks better. Now we can do this in um, raw as well. Let me show you that. I'm just going to mute that. And I'm going to go over back here and we're gonna have to click on the actual clip to get to raw. Now on this red raw, and if you're using black magic, it would work the same way. We're going to use Kelvin and tint, which are the same thing. We first need to go down here to saturation. We need to set this to two. And then we're gonna switch on Lumetri scopes. Okay, now we have plenty of room to work there. So now we're just gonna drag this over just like we did before. Find them and have them converge. Get the blue and the red together. Good. And now we're gonna get the tint and we'll bring the green in, find the right way. And then, boop, back down here and set your saturation back to one. And now if we turn this off and then go here, now I look normal again. Ta-da! All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is getting full contrast out of your exposure. Okay, let's turn on Lumetri Scopes and unmute this. Now, we're going to see here, we're going to see green, and we see red, and we see blue. Each of those are the LEDs. And we notice the red is way up there, and then the green is way down. And this is going to be misleading if we try to do contrast based upon this. So what we want to do is... We want to do the un -oompa loompa thing, and we're going to set contrast to zero. Now, if you'll notice, we're dealing only with the luminance values, not red, green, and blue. And now they're sitting at 80. So that means we do have room to work to get this looking better. So let's go down here to curves. And then what you're going to do is the top right hand corner up here you're going to get on there and you're going to hold down and then move it over until right there you hit it right at 100. so it's right at 100. now if your bottom down here your shadows and your blacks were above zero you could then drag this side over as well and get it to match now we just need to come back up here and change our saturation back to back to one or one zero zero in this. And now if we switch back, now you can look and see that these LED lights in the back are really nice and bright. My face hasn't really gone any brighter. It still looks normal. Um, and you know, we have a nice contrasted picture. Now the next thing we want to look at is the face here, and this is where the middle gray comes in. So if we look at Lumetri, you can see the side of my face right here. So we want face to be, skin tones to be between 40 and 60, depending on several factors, but basically the, the lightness of the skin versus the darkness of the skin. So it's going to vary depending on if you have like a very, like a, uh, a red head, uh, person would have be very fair skinned or if you had an African American who was very uh, dark skinned, then you're going to have different settings here. But ultimately, a gray card would be the same color or the same luminance value as skin if you are a typical Caucasian. Uh, unfortunately, I did not do a very good job putting this gray card right up into the light. So if we look at it, we will see it's way down here in the uh, 20s to 40s. Just barely kind of kissing up here on 40 on the left side. As you can see, this is brighter on this side than this side. And if we look here, it's brighter here than here. If this was actually where my face was in the light uh, and pointed directly at the camera, it would be hovering somewhere right around 45. But let's say if it's down in the 30, then all you can do then is go to exposure and bring it up until it does work. And then you would uh, see good skin tone. So let's jump back and uh, finish this up. 
So I hope that answers your questions on how to use this guy and make it work for you. As always, if you have any questions or comments, do feel free to put them in the comment section down below. I do try to read and respond to each and every one of them just to say thank you. Also remember to click subscribe. And if you love this, give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, give me a thumbs down. It's okay, we'll still be friends. Uh, I do have a Patreon if you wish to support me that way. I do appreciate each and every one of my supporters. He was just, you know, good job, Scott. Thanks for making great content. Well, thank you, Patreon supporter. I like you. I like you a lot. We could be friends. Uh, yeah. So as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passion sit around your life. Let your life sit around your passions.